Everyone, welcome to the Just In Time Cafe webinar. I'm Tracy Arroyo, co-founder of the Just In Time Cafe. I'm gonna be your moderator today. And today's webinar is titled, Lean Coffee, Is It Your Cup of Tea? <laughs> and joining us today is Eric Olson. Thank you so much, Eric, for joining us today. Elizabeth and I are excited to have you at the cafe. Hey, Mary Beth. Okay. So let me um, tell you a little bit about Eric, if you don't know him already, because if you don't know him, you should. He is a professor in the industrial technology at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, California. He teaches undergraduate and master's courses in lean thinking, Six Sigma and operations management. He has over 20 years of an industry experience in engineering and manufacturing management, at Caterpillar, Lytton, and HP, and has a PhD from Ohio State University. It, it's the it's the Ohio State. The Ohio State they, University. They, they pay you to teach. They, they teach you to say that. So just so you know. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he is the creator and the instructor for Cal Poly's Lean Six Sigma Green Belt and Black Belt Certification Program. That he runs numerous improvement events at Cal Poly and in the local community. And Eric is also the director for Central Coast Lean. Its mission is to better understand how to build a community of lean practice. They promote, run, and study improvement events, forums, workshops, and conferences. And we are so happy to have you. You also are the chair of the Lean Education Academic Network and the creator of the Hobnob Slow a local community building community, uh, community a, a local community building community. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about those, just really quickly, Eric. Yeah, no, uh, Tracy, thank you for that introduction. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I probably take on too many things, right? So uh, in addition to being a professor here at Cal Poly, directing Central Coast Lean, which is about building a lean community of practice, um, I kind of translated that into some things I do socially in my community, um, just sort of interesting, maybe fun fact is pre-COVID, we would invite about 400 people over to our house every other week. Um, the nice thing is about, you know, sort of the social dynamics and probably my popularity or something, we only get about a five or 10% show rate. So that's like 20 or 40 people show up, um, but it's always a different group and we, we talk and, uh, uh, maybe drink a glass of wine or two, but it's a, but it's a nice way to build community and keep people connected. So we, we enjoy doing that too. Very nice. Thank you so much. And I want to know how big is your house? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just a few housekeeping notes before we begin. So what I really like about this is we're already seeing people that are fans of the JIT Cafe community, as well as Eric's Central Coast Lean community. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to bring y'all together. So if you are familiar with the JIT, Just In Time Cafe format, today is going to be a little different than our traditional format. So you've probably noticed that, number one, you're on video. What? You didn't do your hair? I'm sorry. You look great. And so just know that we're going to stay on video for this session. And if you want to speak, you're welcome to come off mute because you have the ability to talk whenever you want as well. But when uh, Eric's maybe explaining something, maybe stay muted. So we've got an interactive session that Eric's going to be taking you through today. We're going to be using the format of lean coffee. So the only slides we have is this one and, you know, a, a few of them at the end. And that is it. So before we get started, we want to make sure we know who everyone is and who is here. So here is your first action item. And Eric, you can go ahead and correct me if I say this wrong. So some of you may have noticed that we have long titles at the bottom of our video. It's my name, where I'm from, and where I am physically. So if you want to change your name to reflect that's good practice if you haven't done it. Uh, go to, do they have to be in um, gallery view first, Eric? You know, they could do it from any view if they're, uh, if they know how, but uh, the easiest thing is switch over to gallery view, hover over your square. And if you see those three dots pop up in the upper right-hand corner, um, click on that. And one of the pull downs is rename. 
So if you do the rename, the, the basic convention we want to try to use, I think it's the best practice, is name, organization, and then uh, your physical location. Let us know where you're zooming in from. Yeah. I see some familiar faces Ooh. like yeah. Larry and Sally and Farah or Farah Robinson, Mary Beth, how are you all? Yeah. Thank you for joining. And I have my lean cup of coffee here. It's the JIT Cafe. If anybody <laughs> wants to give some gifts, it's for your jolt of lean caffeine. Okay, all right, I'm going to hand it over to Eric now. Yeah, so, so, so thanks for doing that and, and welcome. So, so one of the ways in, in talking to uh, Tracy and Elizabeth, we thought, well, why don't we use lean coffee to talk about lean coffee? Um, we've been doing this for uh, probably a bunch of years, I think since, since 2017 um, at Cal Poly and with Central Coast Lean. I see some familiar faces on there that have experienced lean coffee, either in its um, pre-COVID physical manifestations or in now in its, its virtual form. And we're going to go ahead and try to try to get you into it. Now, one of the things with lean coffee, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to do a share screen and show you a little software application that we use. And let me see, let me make sure I get my right screen here. I guess I can use. Called the okay. Lean Coffee yes, yeah. app. Yeah, so let me, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to share. So excuse me for that. I got way too many things open on my desktop. So let's, let's start with this, but I'm gonna go to, Lean Coffee Table, yeah. So um, one of the things I'm gonna do, so this is our, our Lean Coffee Table app that we're gonna use. And you know, I've, I can show you a lot of different things um, as far as ways to manage Lean Coffee. Um, the good folks at Lean Coffee Table have created an app specifically for facilitating Lean Coffee. And what I found um, is it's, it's pretty good and if you if you like to sort of do this or get this, type in or Google Lean Coffee, go to their website, see what they've got. Um, I think there's a free version that you can sort of at least try out or start out with, um, but it only costs like ten dollars a month. So Central Coast Lean buys that, and I've got my uh, my own sort of professional copy. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to copy the the link to the Lean Coffee table. And let's see, Tracy looks like she beat me to it. Oh, I just, that's just a regular app, but not your coffee table. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's the, the, to their website. So I just put in the link to the lean coffee table that we're specifically going to be using. So if you'll click on that, it'll ask you things like your first name. It, it's not too uh, invasive, but um, go ahead and get on that. And that'll take you to the same page that you're looking at on my screen here. And the way this will work for lean coffee, I think one of the, the geniuses of this is as opposed to me thinking, okay, this is what I need to communicate or tell all these people about lean coffee. I'm interested in finding out, well, what are your questions? What are your experience? It's really about what do you want to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're doing this with a group or a organization, um, as opposed to creating a, a, a real detailed sort of agenda in advance and stuff, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to walk in there. I'm going to be open. I'm going to talk about what everybody wants to talk about. And the way you do that is there's a little add topics section mm -hmm. up here in the top. So if you see that add topics, you can type in a question, some ex, you know, uh, thing, just give us a little short bit of that. And then it'll show up in the bottom. Now you see that we've already sort of pre-populated this a little bit with things. So these are things that <laughs> I kind of want to talk about or I'm ready to talk about. I got uh, one of my co-conspirators, Tracy, you'll notice she put in a few things that she thought would be good to talk about on this lean coffee. But we want to hear from you and see what topics maybe that you want to talk about. Thank you, Dennis, for, uh, for popping that on there. And you'll see it on there. Now, you don't have to type a big, long paragraph to tell us about your topic, because what we'll do is 
we'll go around and ask people to introduce their topic and you'll do a little elevator speech, maybe 30 to 60 seconds describing what that topic's about. And then we're giving everybody five votes and mm -hmm. you're gonna vote for what topics you wanna talk about. And then we'll take them in the order of, you know, sort of voted priority as to, you know, the, the thing with the most votes is the things that um, people wanna talk about most. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on. Now um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop sharing my screen. Hopefully everybody sort of found that and yes. can go there. One of the one of the best practices I've found for online meetings and doing these things, it certainly applies to Lean Coffee. I've got one of those big Apple screens, right? So I take my Zoom and I move it up to the top of the screen and kind of put it across. And right now I'm looking at all you guys as my Hollywood Squares sort of versions. I see Tracy over there, Elizabeth, and Corey's down there, and Katie's over here. So I can see all your faces um, up here. And then on the bottom of my screen, I stretch out my Lean Coffee or whatever app that we're working on or sharing, right? So a lot of times in the virtual world, we're sharing apps. I put that down across the bottom so I can be sort of in both places. And I think that's a really sort of good practice when you're doing these sorts of things. So I've got this set up now. Now, what we're gonna do with this sort of bigger group that we have here if you've got a lean coffee and it's a small group, you might want to go around and do sort of the standard introductions um, and, and say hello, name, rank, and serial number. But we're going to uh, expand that a little bit and we're going to do something um, from the Liberating Structures folks called impromptu networking. And Tracy is going to assist me with this. And so it's kind of a little bit like speed dating. So we're gonna break you into groups of three for three minutes and we're gonna do three rounds. So this is gonna be a three by three by three. Um, it will be a little disconcerting at times because you won't finish your thought and you'll get pulled out. Tracy's laughing because you know we did this at a, a little uh, meeting that we had with about 20 or 30 people a, a week or two ago. And it's, it's really a great way to get started. So when you get thrown into these little groups for three minutes, you got to quickly introduce yourself. And I'm going to give you a charge here. So because you saw I'm trying to populate this board with topics to talk about, I want you to talk in your little group for as quickly as you can. Like, what do you know about Lean Coffee? What is your experience? Um, have you ever been in Lean Coffee before? Or what questions do you have about Lean Coffee? All right? So in these little breakouts, your charge is introduce yourself and then talk about what questions do you have about lean coffee or what would you really like to know? Okay. And, you know, some of those ideas should be showing up in this, uh, this little proposal. And I see some of you have started voting. Um, wait until after people have uh, explained what the cards are about. Maybe you really don't want those things you picked and you can unvote by clicking on that, uh, that vote word and you can take votes away um, that you've already sort of populated with, okay? Um, if you so choose. Ready? Okay, so with, with that, Tracy, you wanna, you ready to do like three rounds? Yes, uh, I'm ready. Okay. okay. I'm gonna open all the rooms. I put the instructions in the chat, what you're supposed to do. And remember, you only have three minutes for each breakout. So we're gonna put you in a breakout and then we're gonna put you in another breakout. I'm gonna put you in another breakout. It's kind of like virtual whiplash. Are you ready? <laughs> Ready, go. Tracy, let's put them in again. All right, you ready? Need some more people. You might meet the same person. You know, you can you can go a little deeper, but otherwise. Okay, hopefully, yes, it's going to be the same. Ready? We're going to do it again. Ready for some more whiplash? Go. <laughs> All right, so here they're back. So let's, Tracy, go ahead and put them in another one real quick here. Okay, recreate. You know, one more chance. I can see some smiles on, on the folks' faces. We must be doing something right. Yes. There was plenty of time. It was time. I even made a sandwich in the, the whole thing. <laughs> no more Cuban coffee, any. I know. This is, <laughs> this is tack time training. Like if you want to train people in tack time, this is an exercise to train them in tack time. All right, third group, ready, go.
Well, welcome back. So hopefully, you know, based on that, you guys got to know um, a few different people. Uh, it, quick, quick feedback from anybody. Anybody, uh, anybody meet somebody that um... they didn't like? No. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Is, is that a good? I guess my question is, you know, I, I tend to do this to people. I, I think it's very participative. I think it's a good thing to do to start off meetings and get people diving directly into the topic. So not only was it introductions, but it wasn't what's your favorite color or you know, what did you do last summer? It's it's right about the topic because we need to be talking about, you know, what do you want to know about lean coffee? So what, what do you guys think? Thoughts quickly. Anybody? Yeah, it was awesome. I think that one of the things was it seems to be like a community of practice type uh, platform to where you you discuss maybe any challenges or or issues you might be having. And then there may be uh, ways through lean principles or, or Six Sigma guidelines to uh, address some of those. So, I mean, again, and we're trying to build that same sort of thing internally. So it just sounds like it's right, right, up, uh, right up our alley. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. good. Yeah. All right, well, let's see. So, so what I'm gonna do now, um, this is, a, this is a, a little bit of a first for me. I've never used lean coffee to give a presentation or yeah, I actually, I've never used it to give a presentation and I've, I've never used it um, specifically to, to talk about lean coffee. So this is going to be interesting to me. So, so what, like I said, we've been doing lean coffee up on the central coast uh, on a monthly basis since like 2017. Um, and it actually started um, Jim Benson, who wrote the book, Personal Kanban, started, uh, you know, sort of a, a side proposal said, okay, personal Kanban, you can kind of use this system for your personal time management and prioritization. So you think about like all the things on your to-do list that you could do, right? And that's usually a, a massively long list for all of us. And then there's the things that you're doing or the things that you want to do. And that needs to be a much smaller focus list because we're we know as lean practitioners that, that focus is very important. So maybe in your doing, you only have one, two, or three items that you're actually sort of focusing on doing. Forget about that other list for now. You're focused on the stuff that's in your Kanban that you're doing. And then you've got the done column, and that generates a feeling of accomplishment as you, as you move those sticky notes or items from the doing over into the done you can look back and say, hey, this was a good day or this was a good week. What we've got now is you've got sort of a translation of, of Jim Benson's personal Kanban approach to let's have a group conversation. And so one way you want to think about it is we've got all these people have come into a meeting and they've got all these different things in their head, things that they want to talk about, right? Challenges that they have, things that they found out, um, you know, could be everybody's in the same business or in the same department or whatever, but they're coming into being with all this stuff, this baggage that they're carrying around with them. And all that, that baggage can be put into the, you know, potential topics, right? These are the options of things that we could talk about, right? Can't really talk about all of them in this meeting. We've got a limited amount of time. We're just got another half hour left. So, so we did a disc dump and ask you guys, that, okay, and you can add more topics if you like, but these are all the things that people um, either are concerned about or want to talk about maybe within the scope of Lean Coffee, and we've got them up here on the board. And I, I was telling Tracy, uh, we sort of hung up at the top level while you were doing the, the speed dating breakout thing, and um, this is more topics than I've ever had to deal with in a Lean Coffee, and I thank you guys you know, for that, because sometimes I'm struggling and, and we've got such a limited or sparse amount of uh, topics, but this is a great amount of topics uh, to, to have to deal with. We certainly will not be able to talk about all of these in the time remaining. So I'm curious about, well, what are the most important things that we need to talk about? Or what does everybody want to talk about? And we're going to use a little democracy to do that. If we were doing this in a physical sense, you could vision, okay, you walk into a meeting and you have a little pile of sticky notes or post-it notes and a bunch of Sharpies, and maybe they're distributed around the room and you tell people, okay, 
whatever you want to talk about, write it on a sticky note and put it up here on the whiteboard. Okay. So what we've effectively done in virtual sense, we've put all these little sticky notes up on a whiteboard and we say, okay, these are all the things that people maybe want to talk about. So what we're going to do next is we're going to have kind of go around and we're going to sort of um, walk backwards from number 128, you know, back to the beginning. And everybody's going to have just two or three minutes, not two or three minutes. <laughs> Boy, I was, I was being extravagant there. You're going to have like 30 seconds to tell us what your card is about, do a little pitch. And once we sort of know what all these cards are about, we're going to give you five votes. So everybody gets five votes. You're going to pick your five favorite cards or top cards or things you want to have more discussion about. And we're going to go ahead and talk about those things. Okay. All right. So with that, I think, you know, for, um, I was, I was playing with this a little bit um, beforehand, seeing how this would sort of record as a webinar for my, my buddies at the Just In Time Cafe. Normally what I would do at this point is I would stop sharing screen and I encourage you to do this, you know, stop share or, or <laughs> um, when you do it, I would stop sharing screen, put my little Zoom folks up in the top, put this board down the bottom, and then I would sort of watch back and forth. Um, turns out it doesn't make for a good webinar recording. So I'm gonna to continue to share screen as we go through this. And I'm gonna ask Tracy and Elizabeth to spot people that seem to wanna to, you know, raise their hand or make some sort of motion like you wanna talk or whatnot. Um, for this size group, we're gonna to have to do sort of mute and unmute. So get ready to unmute yourself um, if you want. But I'm gonna ask uh, Ravi who's uh, joined us and Ravi's one of my, uh, my ringers, he's a, a, re, a lean coffee regular for us in the Central Coast. But Ravi, you want to um, go ahead and tell us what uh, topic number 28 is about in 30 seconds or less. You got to do a good model for me, Ravi. So. Okay, sure. Sure. Um, I've only attended the remote version of the lean coffee uh, being over a thousand miles away from you. Uh, but I was just curious how it's different than the in-person version yeah. um, because I've had other situations where I've been in person and we're thinking about doing them remote. So that's, that's it. All right. Thanks, Ravi. And Katie, another ringer, tell us what, uh, what's your topic about 27. Sim similar thought process. Ravi and I were just in the same conversation. And so we each posted something about this. I've only attended one of your lives, coffee, lively and coffees, and the rest have been virtual. So I was thinking about pros and cons. Okay. One of the, one of the features in Lean Coffee that I don't usually use, but um, you can um, merge topics. And I was wondering all topics would merge into a title topic. So if we do, if we do Robbie's topic and this one, and we merge topics. And I'm typed this. So this is uh, real versus virtual. So let me see. Let me see if it does that. Okay. So we just we just merged their topics together. So it's another feature on this software. So if you see some common threads in here, um, we can go ahead and do that. I probably won't do that. We'll try to try to do a speed run through this and, and see how we do. Sandra, you got a topic you want us to talk about? Twenty six. All right. I have no idea what's going on with my camera. It decided it's no longer going to work. Um, so you'll just see my photo there. But um, I was kind of my two topics, actually, you could probably merge together, too. How would you use this maybe in your standard meetings that you have or your planning project you know, meetings um, with people who are not very lean trained like you might be? Good. Thank you, Sandra. I'm just going to merge both those in there and merge stop. Okay, this is good experience for me. I haven't uh, I haven't used merge that much. Um, <laughs> so, Alessandro, um, want to share your topic? Twenty four. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think this is my first time hearing about lean coffee and joining one of these. 
people that I've met in, in the, the breakout rooms was all were also the, the first time. So we don't know much about what it is, when it's best used, like those kinds of things. Okay. All right. So, so what, what is lean coffee? When best use? Thanks for Alessandro. Thank you. So Larry 23, what's your topic about? Yeah. Thanks, Eric. So um, if I was to start this at the port of Seattle, I'm curious, um, those of you who have been doing this for a while, um, what, what should my expectations be realistically? Um, what should my uh, measures of success be? And, and one thing I thought of later is um, frequency. So how frequently are, are people doing these? Yeah, yeah, good, good questions, Larry. And, and so if you wanna you know, hear about those sorts of things, if you go ahead and, and vote for uh, um, number 23, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, Alessandro, you got another one. Yeah, back to so little lean bit best practices, not coffee related. Uh, as company, like my my company is like getting more maturity into okay, let's let's do bad things better. And there's a lot of effort behind, it, a lot of appetite for like process improvement stuff. But as you gather all these ideas from everybody, what's the best what best practices to manage this? I call it portfolio management, right? How to gather idea, how to prioritize, and then choosing what to execute and when not. Yeah, and, and Alessandro, that you know, that's a, that's sort of a great example. So I come in here expecting that I'm going to get all these questions about lean coffee. This is, uh, you know, an interesting question just for lean community folks in general, because I think a lot of us are struggling with exactly this kind of problem. And maybe this is the most important thing that we should be talking about and using our time to, to talk about. Um, certainly, if, if I made a comment and I'd put a lean coffee twist on it. But um, but yeah, good topic. Thank you for sharing that. Let's see. Um, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, can, I, yes? can I make a suggestion? Sure. So we we don't we don't have much more time. Probably should have you know in retrospect yeah. maybe given you a little bit more time to do this. Yeah. Would it be okay if we model maybe a few more of the cards and then have everybody read them and vote and see if we can squeeze in at least one or two topics? Yeah. So so um th thank you for that, Tracy. And I was thinking the same thing myself. Um, I'm going to skip over Katie since she already pitched one. Chester, uh, do you want to go ahead and, and sort of share yours? Sure. It is perfect timing because uh, I just got back from a little quick five minute check if I had to do it at the floor. Um, I asked, uh, you know, uh, I, I've left San Luis Obispo. And so I'm trying to figure out where would you suggest to look for like minded people to build a lean coffee, you know, in a new area? Like, how, how do you start the, the CI group where you're at? Mm, good one. And and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say Tracy we got we got time for one more. Do you want to go ahead and ask like one of your questions? And then if you could scan through the board and sort of read those, I know you don't know, you know, in depth like what each one of those are, but maybe you're curious about some of them, or they sound like they'd be fun things to talk about. Um, we're gonna allow you to turn you loose after Tracy says something, and um, you're gonna spend your five votes, and we're gonna go to the next phase and see how this works. Yeah, that sounds good. So I'll chip, I I pick I put four of them I think on here, and I'm gonna check when is best to use the lean coffee format. So you know I actually which, which love numbers this format. That, Tracy, which number is that? that? I'm sorry, that's number seven. Number, number seven. seven. Okay. Yes, and um, because I think it's a great format, and I think it's really it does really well in certain environments. And so I'd love to hear a little bit more about when when you think it's best and what people are seeing. Okay. Yeah, great. Thanks for that question. Okay, so there's a lot of cool things. These are options, things we could talk about. Um, I'm going to ask you now to go ahead and vote. And so as you're voting, and we'll give you about 60 seconds to do that. And Tracy, if you could sort of, you know, check me on the time here. But as you're voting, um, what will happen next is um, the software will sort of rank the voted things and we'll have a, a top vote getter to a bottom vote getter that will be lined up there. and We'll start talking. Um, when we go into the conversation, if uh, whoever has the first card, I'll ask them to maybe reintroduce the topic um, about what that card is about. And it's, it's not about me telling you the answer. To these things, I'll certainly make my contribution. But we got a lot of smart people in this room, people that have had different experiences, maybe with other lean coffees or 
how this might be done. And I think there's a lot in Lean Coffee here about tapping into that wisdom of the crowd. So all the people that are in this room with all their years of lean experience or non-lean experience are gonna be able to contri contribute to the conversation. And we're gonna use this software and this Lean Coffee technique to sort of manage that, um, cool. manage that conversation, okay? All right, so if you'll go ahead um, and let's see. How do we find, how do we see what people voted on? Well, let's see, so I, I guess because I'm the, the manager, you should be able to see, let's see, so can you, so can you see what, uh, can we see votes now or no? Not yet. Okay, votes are off. I so did now, vote. Yeah, so, yes. so you click on the little vote, the, the word vote at the bottom of the square and that'll register your vote for that particular topic. Yep, the little right. orange vote. I, I see it by the dots. You can see the number of dots. Yep, the I number of dots and the number of votes. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, good. Okay, that's helpful. <laughs> yeah, if not you want, it, you know, I, I think you can, I'm, I'm not sure. I think you can vote like all five of your votes for one. And, you know, we call that in the business piling on. So this is a, a technique in meeting and facilitation called multi voting, right? So you give people multiple votes and you allow them to spread their votes around. Um, we usually try to institute a no pylon, right? And a no pylon policy might be, you know, you're not allowed to give more than say two votes to any particular one thing mm -hmm. and pile on, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start the discussion at this point. I think we got enough votes on here. Let's go ahead and take a look at, at how this goes. All right, so now I've switched over and we're sort of in the meeting and the top vote getter was Tracy, one of yours. Yes. You must have some friends in the audience here. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and move it in here. Now you'll see on my screen as facilitator, I get to pick how long we talk about this. And we got a lot of topics. So I'm just gonna let five minutes kind of be our default time for mm -hmm. this. So I got a little time bar up there. We got five minutes to talk about this topic. But I'm going to let Tracy, since she proposed this topic, just sort of kick us off. And Tracy, remind us why we want to talk about this. Why we want to talk about this? Because we want everybody to be able to leverage lean coffee as best as possible. And I think for me, I've been I've been lucky enough to attend a physical lean coffee and a virtual lean coffee. And I think, you know, with everybody being virtual still and still having a COVID situation where people are not always physically together, I think it's great to explore how this could be what you know, when to use this format and how. Yeah. No, I think great, great question, Tracy. So I'm, I'm going to say, so here's, here's a little training. This is my um, leadership 101 training, and anybody can have this. Um, if you, you come up to San Luis Obispo, we'll, we'll put you in a one-day workshop. We'll charge you $300, but, but, but here it is for free, okay? This is leadership 101. I don't know. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> Stay with me. I don't know. What do you think? So, so when Tracy's asking, uh, you know, when's the best to use lean coffee? What, what do you guys think? I don't know. You know, it's, it's, uh, I got, I got some opinions. I don't know as I know the real answer. Yeah. When do, what do you guys think? Who wants to start? And you could just do a little sort of hand signal. If we got all our video on, I'm, I'm sure we got, uh, Tracy learning that somebody help us out. What about some of your, your, I, I would like to take a step. I think it works best in a situation where you don't know ahead of time what people want to talk about mm -hmm. so that you can crowdsource ideas for discussion. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, you know, I think maybe there's a significant change at an organization and you want to know what's on people's minds. And so you might just say, Hey, let's do lean coffee. Let's, let's see what you guys, what's on your mind these days. I, I think there's there's also sort of that that 
and it's a little bit about humble leadership, right? You know, if, if, if you're walking around thinking you know what all your people think or what all your people are worrying about, you're probably not right, you know, because there's always stuff out there that, that you need to find out about. And I think it's a great way to open the discussion up and, and sort of find out what, what are the people that are doing the work, right? So in Lean, we always think, you know, the people that are doing the work are the ones that best know how to improve it. You know, they're also the ones that, that you know, know, what, know what's going on. Right? Yes. We have a couple hands up. So Ravi has his hand up and then we'll talk and have Randy speak. So, yeah, there were two things I, that came to mind. One is when you have enough people to have a, enough of a round table. I mean, if all you have is two or three people, you can just have a discussion. Um, and then uh, the other one is if uh, you, one of the things that I've noticed in these things is there are some people that say, well, I don't know enough about it, so I'm not gonna say anything. I'll just listen. And um, the, the coffee is a way that you can let those that group of people ask a question or uh, bring forth some idea to boost their confidence that they really do know what they're talking about. Yeah, it, there's kind of a safety, a transparency, and disclosure element. I think that that's really nice in these lean coffees. So, oh, how about you, Randy? Hey, uh, all right. Um, I see the use of Lean Coffee on two levels. One is on the uh, internal level inside of a company, uh, just to gather the thoughts and so forth of uh, what's on people's minds in terms of what can be improved, et cetera. And that would help establish a, um, uh, a strategy or a strategic approach to uh, doing Lean in your company. On the other level, the external level, which is what I think this forum is, it's a great way to, to network and hear from all different um, uh, uh, folks from different companies and different walks of life, et cetera. And so you get uh, really in touch with uh, what people are thinking about lean on a bit more global view. So uh, this, this is great for networking and uh, sharing common ideas from company to company versus uh, inside where it's just developing a strategic plan to move forward in your lean journey. So that's what I see. Yeah. So, so one of the things you notice, we, we've burned up five minutes on this topic and the software is sort of asking you for your preference. Do you want to extend the topic? You know, you're neutral or you want to end the topic and sort of move on. You go ahead and vote. Um, I can sort of see what the votes are. So I'm going to go ahead and um, finish the topic at this point. And we're going to move on. I also want to point out is one of the things that I was doing or you should... <laughs> You could do it, and this is also better crowdsourced. So if you um, want to comment on some of the things that are being said, you can do comments, you can post links, um, all kinds of information. The software actually creates a summary at the end of what went on and what we talked about on the meeting. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and move that guy over and move in another topic. And I'm going to put five minutes on this one once again. And Alessandro, you want to just sort of remind us why we thought we might want to talk about this? A lot of, got a lot of votes. It sure did, uh, even if it's not coffee, lean coffee related. But uh, what I would like to hear from everybody with all these lean and process improvement experts on the call is what are some best practices into managing all these ideas that you might gather on things that you could improve around your company? How do you prioritize what to work on, who to work on, and et cetera. Yeah. Okay. So best practices for continuous improvement portfolio management, or how, how do you how do you pick? Right? How do you pick? Anybody have any ideas? What works for you? I I I'll comment. Um, I think we should have a webinar on this. Maybe that's what we'll do next month, right, Elizabeth? Okay, um, I would just say that um, often, you know, people are picking projects for, you know, either customer impact, cycle time, pro or productivity improvements, or saving money. And, you know, of course, if you ask, well, what do you want, Mr. Customer, if that's the executive, they'll say, well, I want all of it. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so uh, sometimes projects deliver certain things and then you have to decide, okay, which ones, which ones meet that. And then the other one I always focus on is strategy. What is the strategy of the company and how do they fit into the strategy and supporting the strategy? Because if it supports the strategy, you're going to get support. It's hard when it doesn't support the strategy. Uh, you're, you're like a salmon swimming upstream. Yeah. I'll just say that as a comment. Yes. Who else? Uh, Sandra, do you have your hand up or was that from last time? No, I do have a hand up. Um, I, yeah, I think a webinar is really a good idea. And one of the things we use here is we have a rubric system with points and you kind of add it all up and try to identify what project has priority. But I was thinking more of an answer in terms to using lean coffee. And I, I had a meeting a throughput meeting this morning and um, there was, you know, kind of a, a dead time where we're trying to gather ideas about our bottlenecks and then also which top, which one should we work on first? And I thought maybe this lean coffee method might work for that where people could put all their ideas about some of the problems we're having with our throughput um, and pitch their idea. And then we can vote on which one we wanna work on first and, and finally kind of start moving the project along. Cause I felt like we kind of ended the meeting with, well, I don't know, we got a lot of problems, but what, what are we gonna do? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that idea, Sandra, as, as, as a way to sort of narrow narrow topics and, and sort of focus action plan. So yeah, it, it, it would be good for that. I think I think that the lean coffee has a as a a nice sort of um, leveling effect. You know, it's got a very democratic sort of feel to it as people um, can sort of pitch ideas and things. I you know, one of the cards that didn't didn't get voted on and I thought think is a real sort of neat thing. We didn't get to go through like all the topics, which maybe would be um, uh, something that you would do in a meeting, or maybe you do the voting, and then based on the voting, you get to pitch the topics. We could have uh, flipped the order or something to make that happen. But one thing I do with it is I use this to make uh, little public service announcements. So if it, in 30 seconds I can communicate to the group, you know, we got a workshop coming up next week, or you know, sign up for this or do that. It doesn't get any votes, but I got to say that in front of the crowd, right? So everybody gets to say whatever's on their topic card. And so if you want to do a little advertising or you want to, you know, you know, give somebody an attaboy or said that they did a good job, at least it sort of goes up. Maybe it doesn't get votes to talk about, but at least it gets, uh, it gets a little bit of air in the meeting, right? Giving people the the ability to, to speak and, and be heard, right? It's a real nice part. So, so let's see, so I'm gonna encourage uh, other people. So if you got some ideas and you didn't get to talk about it, about what would be best practices for port, uh, portfolio management, I encourage you to um, go ahead and type a comment on there and let's give Alessandro some help with this, some things that she, he might, if you got a really good website or something, you wanna go ahead and paste that link into a comment card, that would be a good thing. Agile Backlog, thanks for that, Corey, that's good. Um, with user stories, nice. Uh, I wish we had more time and we could sort of hear about some of these, these ideas, right? Yes. Webinar, <laughs> a webinar in the future. So you gotta, you gotta vote for another webinar, Elizabeth. So there you go, all right. Okay. So, um, so let's see, so I'm getting the uh, thing here. So just so you know, um, one of the things it allows you to do is if um, we weren't so heavily biased towards ending the topic and move on, we could extend the topic. So as moderator with this software, I could decide to give it one, two, three, four more minutes as appropriate. Um, a lot of times in Lean Coffee, our typical default is like 15 minutes for a topic. So this five minutes is really fast because we've got so much to go on. Um, yeah. I don't know if we, we really did justice to Alessandro's um, question, but we're going to go ahead and move on. And maybe- I think um, we're out of- Go ahead. We are going to wrap up, I think, and see. Yeah, but, that, that but sounds here's, good. So, so. Here, here's the thing is um, I want to let you all know, we wanted to give you a taste of what, lean coffee is. And I don't know if all of you know this, but Eric runs a virtual lean coffee every month, the second Wednesday of every month. 
um, at his um, Central Coast Lean. I'm going to put this in the chat window. And I would encourage you all, if you want to get a, you know, if you're interested and now uh, maybe piquing your interest, I would suggest joining up on the next one. He's got, I just put the link in the, um, in the chat window. And th this tells you all the days that it's scheduled. And uh, I believe you changed the time, didn't you, Eric? Wasn't it from like uh, 10 to 12 now instead of two to four or four to six or something like that? Yeah, so, so we're, we're now um, second Wednesdays, 10 a.m. And you're welcome to join us. And one of the other little cards I sort of buried in there, this is sort of a mechanism, um, you know, people worry about, well, is somebody going to hijack my meeting, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, hijacking your meeting means you know, somebody's going to get up there on, in the front and filibuster. Well, we got this sort of nice time limiting mechanism here. Um, and, you know, one of the sort of neater experiences, and this was a physical sort of lean coffee phenomena. I had a provost that I was, you know, working on and we would run a joint meeting of all the department heads at Cal Poly. We'd have 70 people in the room and she was a filibuster, you know, God bless her. Um, and uh, she tend to stand up there and lecture to us. And when we implemented lean coffee and had specific sort of time limits to sort of move through, it sort of moderated her. And, you know, it was a little shocking the first time or two that I kind of forced her into this format, but eventually she came to embrace it and sort of really like it because she saw that it, um, it allowed her to get feedback from the frontline managers for the university in a nice, compact, well-organized way. So, um, so with that, I want to show you one more thing before I close this. So this is, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the meeting at this point. And I'm going to click on create a summary. I could write in some, uh, some comments, um, you know, here are some summary things. I'm gonna uh, reuse this board and URL. So if we wanted to continue this meeting at a time in the future, you get the same URL, same thing, title for the next meeting, click continue here. It generates a summary. And I've got a, a summary here of the meeting and all the things that we've sort of talked about. You can't see it and I'm not gonna show you, but essentially it's a PDF summary with all the topics that were not talked about, all the topics we talked about, and there we go. So the cognizance of the time. Yes. Well, I love it that the, the software makes it so easy to, you know, to just facilitate lean coffee. It gives you all the things you need, the timer, the topics, the sorting. Um, so I really love that. And I want to thank you, Eric, for joining us. I know it was short, so I apologize for, um, it was just enough to get you interested, right? Like what? It's over already, just like Christmas. So, <laughs> so can you share the last slides that we have, Eric? I'm just going to share a couple of things. If you have any questions for Eric in particular, you can put them in the chat window. We just want to share that we do have, again, we've got the lean coffee coming up in early January. We also have a, another webinar coming up in on January 20th with Sunitha Naranya, Naranya I think, Naranyan. And she really is talking about using hope as a game-changing leadership strategy. People are tired, there's mistrust and fatigue, and it's showing up in interactions. So how are you, how are you dealing with that? How are you creating some dialogue so that um, you're, you're motivating people? And uh, so we're gonna talk about that in January. We also just released our podcast with Dr. Sabiha Mumtaz from the Wollongong University in Dubai. Elizabeth and I ventured all the way to Dubai through Zoom for a riveting discussion on power and leadership and women. And she talks also about Deming and improv and physics to educate her MBA students. So really great conversation. So don't miss that. And, and that's it for today. We're right at 12 o'clock. So does anybody have any questions for Eric? And I'm going to, like, as we sort of uh, certainly take questions, uh, if you could turn your video on, kind of give us a little wave, you know, because I, I always sort of like this as a, as a better way to end a podcast. It almost looks like people enjoyed themselves, you know, in the process. So thanks for uh, thanks for being here and doing this.
The yes. one thing there, I the, the link for your monthly event, I didn't see in the chat. Yes, it's um, a little earlier. It's uh, Central Coast Lean Coffee. And I'll put it in one more time so you have it. And I'm sorry, can you get it back on video and wave one more time so I could take a picture? <laughs> yes, why not? Yeah, see? All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'll go ahead and put that in the chat window one more time. It is, uh, where is it? I guess we put a bunch of stuff in there. It's, it starts with the purpose part. So uh, I'll do it here one more time. Everyone in the meeting, there we go. There. All right, deal. All right, everyone, have a wonderful holiday. Thanks for coming to the cafe and joining us for your jolt of lean caffeine. And I hope to see you in 2022. Yes.